Hey guys, it's Jamie here from 3D Scan Store. So in this final part of this tutorial series, I want to talk a little bit about how to texture your Aldified model. So by this point, you will have either sculpted using our base mesh or retopologized your model using our base mesh, which means you will be using our UV maps. Uh, this means that you can use any of our scan store um, displacement or um, texture maps, uh, albedo maps, and these will all work on your on your model. However, with this um, pack, I have included a, a PSD file which has got cavity maps for all the different uh, wrinkle maps. They all correspond to the wrinkles 1 to 10 in the, um, in the Z tool. And I've also included um, four texture maps. So we've got a, um, a white male, black male, white female, black female texture maps. Um, and the way I use these generally in combination with the cavity maps um, so I'll just do a little example here. So we'll, I think for Panthro, I'm just going to use this uh, female one here. Um, just I quite like the wrinkles and the texture and the color and stuff. So the set of wrinkles that we used for Panthro was uh, wrinkles four. So if we just enable the wrinkles four uh, cavity map here, and then set that to multiply, we can kind of get a sort of a you know, this is defining the dark areas of the wrinkles on the face, but it doesn't look particularly good. So what we're going to do, just for ease of use, I'm just going to delete these other ones. I'm just going to delete everything that I'm not using. Um, I'm just going to multiply this. So just duplicate this, duplicate there. And I'm just going to do an ever so slight blur on it. So I'm just going to do Gaussian blur 2.2 maybe. And I'm just going to duplicate it again, and do another Gaussian blur, and duplicate it again, and just do one more. I may not use all of these blurs, but what this does is give you a sort of a sense of depth for the wrinkles rather than just having a single harsh line like this, which looks a bit false. So we'll just sort of add all those up, and then what I'm going to do is select them all, and I'm going to merge visible layers, <coughs> or merge layers. So we get something that looks like this, which has got a much softer edge to it. Now we're going to set that to multiply again, and I'm just going to drop the opacity down a bit, just so it starts to sort of blend with the uh, texture a little bit better. And now I'm going to do a um, hue saturation adjustment on that, which is Control u shortcut. And I just want to make that a bit more, make them a bit more sort of skin colored rather than um, the harsh black. So I'm just going to find something that sort of matches with that skin tone a little bit. A little bit yellower, maybe. Something like that, just so it sort of blends in with the um, with the texture, rather than looking like a you know a harsh black line over the top. And then I'm just going to save that texture. So save a copy. I'll just call it color map. I'm just going to put that on my desktop because I don't want to save it in that folder. And now if we go in here, we have got our color map applied. This is actually the texture is already applied um, here. I was So this is Marmoset that I'm rendering and obviously you can render in whatever software you like. Um, if you are interested in this Marmoset shader, how to set it all up, I've actually uh, created another video which is on YouTube. Um, it's on our blog as well. So if you go to our blog posts and um, scroll down to rendering and lighting and shading in Marmoset Toolbag 4, I will go through everything in this that you need to know to set up this shader. But yeah, that's just a really quick way of um, texturing your Aldified sculpt using the supplied PSD file. So again, if you have any questions, um, feel free to put them in the uh, comments below on the blog or on the YouTube comments.